Dear students, today we are going to learn about mining single dimensional Boolean association rules. Association rule induction is a power technique for so called market basket analysis to find regularities in supermarket customers shopping behavior. With the induction of association rules, one attempts to discover sets of products that are often purchased together so that from the appearance of certain products in a shopping cart, one can infer with a high likelihood that some other products are present. Such information expressed in the form of rules can often be used to increase the number of items sold. For example, by arranging the products in a supermarket selves appropriately. For instance, place it adjacent to each other to invite even more clients to purchase it together or immediately suggest products that may be of concern to the client. An association rule is a rule such as if a client purchase milk and bread, he often buys cheese too. It reflects an association between items which may be products of a supermarket or unique equipment choices of a vehicle optional services provided by the telecommunication business. The normal steps for evaluating association rules are the support and confidence of a rule. A priori algorithm, it involves two steps. The first one is join step. C suffix k is generated by joining L suffix k minus 1 with itself. The next one is prune step any of k minus 1 item set that is not frequent subset of a frequent k item set. A priori is a best known association rules algorithm. It utilizes a breadth first search approach to count item sets support and utilizes a feature to generate candidates that exploits the supports downward closer property. A priori is a classic learned association rule algorithm. A priori is intended to work on transaction databases such as collections of products purchased by clients or website frequent information. Other algorithms are intended to find loss of association in information that do not have transaction wine pie and mind pie or that do not have timestamps. As it is common in the mining rule of association given a set of items, for example, retail sets, each listing of products bought, the algorithm tries to locate subsets prevalent to at least a minimum amount C of item sets. A priori utilizes a bottom up strategy with frequent subsets being expanded one item at a moment, a stage known as candidate generation and candidate groups being tested against the information. When no further effective extensions are discovered, the algorithm ends. The a priori algorithm's aim is to identify the connections between distinct information sets. It is sometimes referred to as analysis of market baskets. Each information set has several components and is referred to as a transaction. A priori's output is a set of guidelines telling us how often objects are included in information set. Here is an example. Each line is a set of items. This table shows four items with three elements. Each item has alpha, beta, gamma. The next one alpha, beta, theta and the third one alpha, beta, epsilon and the last one has alpha, beta and theta. So here the 100 percentage of sets with alpha also contain beta. 25 percentage of sets with alpha, beta also have gamma. 50 percentage of sets with alpha, beta also have theta. So, a priori uses breadth first search and a hash tree structure to count candidate item set efficiently. It generate candidate item sets of length k from item sets of length k minus 1. Then it prunes the candidates which have an infrequent sub pattern. According to the downward closer lemma, 
the candidate set contains all frequent KLN item sets. After that, it scans the transaction database to determine frequent item sets among the candidates. A priori, while historically significant, suffers from a number of inefficiencies or trade-offs which have spawned other algorithms. Candidate generates large numbers of subset that is the algorithm attempts to load up the candidate set with as many as possible before each scan. The bottom up subset exploration is essentially a breakfast traversal of the subset lattice finds any maximal subset S yes, only after all 2 to the power of modulo S yes, minus 1 of its proper subsets. For example, for each item a large supermarket monitors stock keeping unit that is called SKU sales information and is therefore able to understand what products are typically bought together. A priori is a mildly effective way to compile from this information a list of frequently bought item pairs. Let the database of transaction consist of the sets 1, 2, 3, 4 and next set 1 and 2 and third set 2, 3, 4 and fourth set 2 and 3 and fifth set 1, 2, 4 and sixth set 3 and 4 and the last one 2 and 4. Each number corresponds to a product such as butter or bread. The first step of a priori is to count up the frequencies called the support of each member item separately. This table explains the working of a priori algorithm. So, this table consists of to I have two things one is item and the next one is support. So, the item 1 it has a support of 3 out of 7, item 2 has the support of 6 out of 7, item 3 has the support of 4 out of 7, the same way the last item 4 has support of 5 out of 7. We can define a minimum support level to qualify as frequent which depends on the content. For this case, let minimum support is equal to 3 out of 7. Therefore, all are frequent. The next step is to generate the list of all pairs of frequent items. Had any of the above items not been frequent, they would not have been included as a possible member of possible pairs. In this way, a priori prunes the tree of all possible sets. In next step, we again select only these items, now pairs or items which are frequent. We are considering the pairs or item. Look at this table, the item, we have so many pairs. The first pair 1 and 2 has the support of 3 out of 7. The next pair 1 comma 3 has support of 1 out of 7. The same way, so we go to the last one, you look at the last one, 3 and 4 has the support of 3 out of 7. So, the pairs 1, 2, th 2, 3, 2, 4 and 3, 4 are all meet or exceed the minimum support of 3 out of 7. The pairs 1, 3 and 1, 4 do not. When we move on to generating the list of all triplets, we will not consider any triplet that contain 1, 3 or 1, 4. Look at this table, the item 2, 3, 4. This set supports 2 out of 7. In the example, there are no frequent triplets. The set 2, 3, 4 has support of 2 out of 7, which is below our minimum. So, we do not consider any other triplet because they all contain either the set 1, 3 or the set 1, 4, which were discarded after we calculated the frequent pass in the second table. Methods to improve a priori efficiency. So, first method is hash based item set counting. This method is used to reduce the candidate k items c suffix k for all k which is greater than 1. The hash function formula used here to create hash table that is h of x comma y equal to order of x multiplied with 10 added with order of y and with mod of 7. For example, when scanning each transaction in the database to generate the frequent one item set L1 from the candidate one item set in C1. We can generate all of these two item sets 
for each transaction and map them into different hash table structure bucket and increase the corresponding bucket counts and the process continues hash based technique over a priori algorithm the size of candidate k item set c suffix k for all k greater than 1 can be reduced by using a hash based method this is because we apply a hash techniques in this method to each of the transaction item sets h of x comma y is equal to order of x multiplied with 10 plus order of y with modulo 7 suppose we have an item set a1 comma a4 then x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 4 hence h of 1 comma 4 is equal to 1 multiplied by 10 added with 4 and modulo 7 which is equal to 14 so mod of 7 is equal to 0 now we place a1 comma a4 as a set in a bucket address called 0 we complete the hash table as wise and record the count of the bucket if any bucket counts less than the minimum support count the entire bucket that is all its content will be discarded all the undeleted bucket counts now form elements of candidate set so now we have a candidate item set that is lower in size and therefore we need to scan the database fewer items to discover the frequent item sets to improve the a priori algorithms effectiveness the candidate to item set generation all the contents of the un undeleted hash table contents are copied and then the duplicate transaction are eliminated then we obtain candidate to item set transitivity relation as at a time only two accounts are involved in a transaction to find the chaining of accounts we have used the mathematical transitivity relation that is if a implies b and b implies c then a implies b implies c frequent three item sets from the transitivity relation we obtain three item sets these item sets have the amount associated with it the next method is transaction reduction a transaction that does not contain any frequent k item set is useless in subsequent scanning the third method is partitioning any item set that is potentially frequent in database must be frequent in at least one of the partitions of database the last fourth method is sampling a mining on subset of given data lower support threshold added with a method to determine the completeness next method is dynamic item set counting it adds new candidate item sets only when all of their subsets are estimated to be frequent mining frequent pattern without candidate generation let us consider b be a frequent item set and s be the set of transaction contains b and x be an item if x is frequent item set in s x union b must be a frequent item set no candidate generation a compact data structure fp3 to store information for frequent pattern mining recursive mining algorithm for mining complete set of frequent patterns so fp3 construction scans the database only twice and subsequent mining will be based on the fp3 i conclude this topic with in this module a priori algorithm is improved based on the properties of cutting database the typical a priori algorithm has performance bottleneck in the massive data processing so that we need to optimize the algorithm with variety of methods the improved algorithm we do not only optimizes the algorithm of reducing the size of the candidate set of k item sets c suffix k but also reduce the input and output spending by cutting down transaction records in the database the performance of a priori algorithm is optimized so that we can mine association information from massive data faster and better although this improved algorithm has optimized and efficient but it has overhead to manage the new database after every generation so there should be some approach 
which has very less number of scans of database. Another solution might be division of large database among processors. Oh.